Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a projection of this face or if I'm looking at this part from this view, how do I create a projection of all the faces onto a plane that's, uh, that's behind it or parallel to it or any of those. So in this case, we've got a plane available that's, in, that's exactly parallel and it's behind this uh, part. Um, and uh, the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to start a sketch on the plane. Uh, by the way, this plane was created just by going to uh, your uh, uh, features tab, going to reference geometry and the plane. Uh, it lets you choose different references and lets you select. So I just created a front plane. Uh, sorry, I created a plane that's about 100 millimeters from uh, parallel to the front plane. Once you have the plane, you're going to start a sketch. And once uh, we have the sketch started, you'll notice your uh, SOLIDWORKS should go into a normal two view. And from here, I can start selecting my faces. Now, one trick that I do to select my faces is, is I hit the F5, the function 5 command on your uh, keyboard. So if you hit the F5 command, you'll notice this little uh, filter pops up in the bottom of your screen. It might be on the left or the right, but usually it's on the bottom of the screen over here. And what this usually shows is uh, if I wanted to select only vertices, I would have this checked. If I wanted only select edges, I would have this checked. If I wanted just to select faces, I will have that activated. So it gives you a uh, little clarity in, you know, if you're trying to select a face, you don't accidentally select an edge in the back or something. So I'm just going to activate this particular, uh, um, um, sorry, I'm going to activate my edge command. And I'm just going to right click on this top outside edge and I'll try to get the tangency available for it. So right click on that edge and you'll say select tangency. And as soon as you click it, you notice uh, this blue dotted line that goes all the way around. So what this does is uh, it selects those edges. Now I've got a command called convert entities. What that command will do is make a projection of your selected um, entity and it will place it on the plane that's par uh, behind it since we started a sketch on it. So if I hit the convert, watch what happens. There we go. I have uh, the shape, the exact shape of this model. So I didn't have to do any dimensioning or anything. It's just our convert entity tools along with these relationships makes it exactly the same. Now I know I have some cutouts over here as well. So for example, this, this cutout and the hole. And I want to remove those areas from that sketch because um, I mean, there's cutouts. So same process. I just right click on this edge and I go select tangency. And you see it selects this particular loop and I can say convert. You notice in the back, that's that sketch. Let's go normal to view again and do it for the other two. So right click, tangency, convert, adds that sketch. And you can just select this since there's no tangency option. We'll just say convert. So now if I show you the back of the sketch, you notice you've got a couple of different sketches, actually the same sketch and you've got a couple of different contours in this sketch. So basically our sketch is done now. In order to find the surface area of all the, um, you know, the outside here, um, excluding the cutouts, you know, one trick that I can do is I can quickly create a boss and give it a small value, like give it a zero point, like, you know, one millimeter or anything. We're not worried about that thickness. We just want to know the surface area. So if I hit the green check to this, you notice it acts, creates exactly the same shape projection on that plane. And now if I wanted to know the surface area over here, all I have to do is select this face, go to my evaluate tab and uh, click measure. Once I click measure, you notice uh, you've got the area right here, which is your surface area, uh, 7542.639 millimeters square. If I wanted to change, uh, it also gives you the perimeter, um, you know, things like that. So if I want to change the units, I can go up here in inch uh, millimeter option and I can change my units from here. So whatever you need to see you guys prefer, uh, feel free. So, but that's, that would be the process of creating uh, the sketches, the small boss and finding the surface area on this top face. Once you have this number written down somewhere or you can save it, I would recommend to like, you know, suppress this boss because we don't want to leave an extra part there. Um, or you can just also delete this uh, right away. So, well, this is, uh, and uh, you want to delete it, it uh, definitely leaves the sketch, but you can delete the sketch as well, if you would like. Um, this is Ronit from uh, Go Engineer. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.